All right, we're here at the Rose Down Plantation here in Louisiana, St. Francisville. So we're gonna check this out. From what I've heard, there's a ghost that's been sighted here. Not really sure who it is. It could be the son of the plantation owner back in the day, William Turnbull. His dad owned this place, another Turnbull guy, and they had a bunch of slaves, so it's maybe one of them. Anyway, people have reported seeing all kinds of weird stuff going on here, lights flickering on and off. I've seen stuff moving around all over the place, especially when they lock up for the night and they come back and things are moved around. You know, I actually haven't seen a physical sight of this guy who's on this place, but there's definitely some weird stuff going on, so we're gonna go check it out. Rose Down Plantation was built in 1835, located in St. Francisville, Louisiana. At its largest, it consists of almost 3,500 acres of cotton fields, worked by about 250 slaves. The house, which still stands there today, was constructed in 1835 by the original owner, Daniel Turnbull, and his wife, Martha. They had three kids, William, Sarah, and James. James died of yellow fever in 1843 at the age of seven, and William died in 1856 at the age of 27 in a boating accident near the plantation. With the tragedies that befell the children in this family, and of course the multitude of tragic lives experienced by the large number of slaves that worked on this plantation, there is definitely a good chance there are some restless spirits here. Now I've got some old pictures here, and these were taken in 1934 of the house and the grounds. It's already almost 100 years old at this time. And then we move on to the inside of the house. It's decorated and colored in all these pretty murals, light fixtures, all the, the ornamentation and the crown molding, all the works that these rich guys had to, to put into this that they built off the backs of the, the people they forced to work for them. And then you're looking up the stairs here and then you move on into what is we have here, the, the dining room. Still set, the table's all ready to go, like they're about to eat a meal, but they're all dead these days. There's, I believe that Sarah right there. Moving on to the other side over here. You can see this portrait on the wall right here is Daniel Turnbull himself, the original owner of this plantation house. Moving on, looking out the window. Then we see over here, there's Martha right there. And then his eldest son, William. Now I didn't film a lot of the, the rooms too close or other people here on this tour I was in and I decided I'd talk over it since we had the tour guide who was talking and I didn't want to, her voice interrupting mine here. So then we got this fancy old piano here. Didn't hear any ghostly noises coming out of it. it was just kind of sitting there, this whole room was empty it appears to be some kind of old sitting room or study we got all those books laid out there and we move on into this room here it's another sort of study looking area moving on into here we got a the bedroom i believe of the the daughter sarah turnbull you can see the nice canopy bed there haven't been any sightings that have been appeared to be related to her they've all been related to william there's me right there Move on here to another sitting area. Actually, just the same one with the piano in it. Now we move on up the stairs. This goes up into the second floor where they got a few more bedrooms. Got another one of them murals on the wall there. Now I wonder what's behind them ropes there. They didn't let us go back in that section. And one of the scariest things in this place was that rail there. That handrail was something you could tip right over and fall down them stairs. Now we go into the, the nursery here. You got the creepy doll there. Certainly doesn't, doesn't uh, help to decrease the creepiness of this room. Got some of the children painted there. They don't look like the children of this family. 
I see something little little floaters floating by on the screen there. I don't know what that is. I saw them earlier too. Some kind of weird. Uh, look, there they are again. May just be some kind of reflection, but I keep seeing them on these screens. And I believe this may be one of the boys' rooms. Got a little uh, little slingshot there. Board game. Now that's his view. He wake up in the morning. That's what he'd see. Here's another view of the room. Not seeing anything too strange in here. Now we look out here on the balcony, looking out into the, the front porch. You see that little building there is a doctor's office. Who knows what creepy stuff went on there. I believe this to be the master bedroom. There we go with the doctor's office again. This doctor treated all the family, all the slaves on the plantation. So definitely some some interesting tales, interesting stories went on in that little little shack there. We got a, another sitting area here. Now we'll move on back down to the first floor, back to the entryway. That pretty much covers the house. See another one of those floaters there, whatever it is. I believe this to be the final room here, some little, little sitting area before we move on back outside. Just went through the house, didn't see no spirits of any kind or any sort of evidence that anything strange was going on. Now I'm walking through the garden now. This may just be the place where something sneaks up on me. We'll see. It's a big old garden. A lot of place for spooks to hide out here. Crazy one of these statues here came to life. Got ourselves a fountain over there. This one empty right here. Got another one right over here. Oh, you know what? I bet there's some ghosts in this little thing right here. Yeah, definitely uh, getting some ghostly atmosphere right here. Check this out, the floor's all collapsing into a pit of itself. There's a fountain right there. Got another fountain right here. Magnificent tree. 
many, many years old. Probably all these trees planted back in the 1830s or 40s. Check this out, we got some old structure right over here. What is it? Man, look at that moss right there. If that ain't right out of a horror movie, I don't know what is. If only I could make it out here at night. That's when the real stuff comes out. This must be the old wagon building from back in the day. It may just be original wagons. I wonder if we'll ever see any of them original wagon drivers around here. I suppose it's possible. Walk right through this guy's web right here. You know, I've seen these spiders all over the place out here. Check it out. It's a big one too. Some kind of possibly banana spider. Let me just focus in on him. There he is right there. It's a big one. He gets his share of bugs out here, I could tell you that. Some kind of gravestone right there. I don't know. This garden is like a maze here. I have no idea where I'm going. I'm completely lost in here. Hopefully I can find my way out before lunchtime because I'm getting hungry. You know what? Here's the exit right here. And I guess that concludes this video. These plantation houses hold all kinds of spooks of all manner. The trick is to finding them. Letting them make themselves known to you. Doesn't always happen. Well, anyway, that's it for this one. Wobble out.